You contacted uh, YB Tentra. First of all, uh, me, my family, all the generation from uh, my family were in Batu, from Batu constituency. So from last time, uh, from last time, we support our YB. And now we are also a Pakatan Harapan uh, supporters. My whole family is a Pakatan Harapan supporters. Mm. So at first when the our YB's team contacted us, I told them to hold on because I wanted to discuss with my advisors and my committee. Then uh, after the after three days, I agreed to work together with him because uh, that's what my team, my advisors, and my family and the Batu constitution people. Uh, and your supporters. Yes, and, and my supporters won that too. They were all happy. And uh, so, if let's say tomorrow, if the court decision is not against, it's against YB Teng Chua, then you would be endorsed yes. as the unofficial candidate. How do you feel? I feel, uh, I feel very honoured because I, I think this opportunity for me, I can use this opportunity to, to create a platform for me to develop the youths not only in Batu constituency but all over the nation because we youth our my main agenda was to let the youths participate in politics to change their mindset about politics because all the youth most of the youths nowadays they think politics is dirty they are not involving so that is my main agenda okay. and I take this opportunity mm -hmm. to create a platform with with the help of uh, our YB Together, we develop the youth and the Batu constituency for the best. Okay. And what happens if tomorrow the court says that YB Tieng Chua can contest, then what would you do? I will still support uh, Pakatan Harapan and I will still continue my agenda, okay. raising awareness for the youths about politics. Okay. And uh, do you think you are ready for the heat? Because uh, Teng Chua is like a well-known socially activist, and uh, now well, what happened? The spotlight is going to be on you. So yes. are you ready for that? Being 22 years old, with the Pakatan Harapan and standing beside uh, our YB Teng Chua, I think I can achieve anything. Okay. So uh, has this come as a shock to you? Because, you know, when you signed in as an independent candidate, of course it's like a, a heel to, to even win Wabi Teng Chua, you know, that's the perception. So, yeah, so did you think... When I come into politics, I didn't expect this kind of stuff to happen. Uh, quite frankly, I was sad when they announced Teng Chua is rejected during the nomination because I was there. Mm. I was actually disappointed mm. but now when I have this opportunity to work with him together I'm really happy and I, I feel it's a proud moment for all the Batu constitution people that still the Pakatan Harapan is there for them with the blessings of the supporters and the God I and my mentor will be always be there so, if let's say you win, you would be the youngest member of parliament, no, yeah, MP in parliament. Yes. And uh, you would be facing a sea of senior MPs who are ready to just take a swap at you. And uh, yeah, so how are you going to prepare yourself to to do that? Uh, have you always been involved in debates? Yeah, a little bit of your background. I. Yes, I involved in a lot of debates during my school and also I always debate with my friends about political issue because uh, when I talk to my friends, I normally talk about politics and the social service that we are doing 